the youngest successful rappers in history of music. How yeah. old are you, both of you? Both 13. Both 13. Yeah. I can tell you who he had his first drink with. I can tell you who he's with when he had sex with somebody who put him up to that. You know, everything he did, he thought that he was getting away with something. Things with adults. And I was like, yo, we're not helping me out. We're good friends with... You were good friends with Chris Kelly and Chris Ross and Smith? Yeah, Chris Ross, yeah. First dude I seen, you think Jada Pinkett was entangling? She was entangling with Chris Kelly from motherfucking Chris Cross. Those who grew up in the 90s clearly remember who Chris Kelly was, but if you don't, here is a quick reminder. Following his sudden death, his mom, Donna Kelly, revealed that his son got hooked on drugs and sex at a young age. But now we know exactly who sold him drugs and even slept with him, despite being a minor at the time. Kelly, known as Mac Daddy, was just a kid when rapper Jermaine Dupri discovered him and his rapping partner, Chris Daddy Mac Smith, at an Atlanta mall. When they were 13, they released a multi-platinum album, Totally Crossed Out, featuring their hit song, Jump. But ugly details about his childhood are now getting out, with Dupri and Kelly's mom, revealing Jada Pinkett's role in the rapper's subsequent downfall. Supporting Dupree's assertions is rapper Daz Dillinger, who alleged that Jada had an entanglement with young Chris Kelly when he was just a minor. It seems Jada's love for young boys started back in the day. Jada Pinkett was entangling. She was entangling with Chris Kelly from motherfucking Chris Cross. Daz might have unintentionally spilled some details about Will Smith's wife and the late Kelly. During a 2021 interview, Daz claimed that in 1993, Jada was entangling with Kelly. At the time of this alleged relationship, the actress would have been 22, while Kelly would have been only 15 years old. While revealing this, the rapper said, You think Jada Pinkett was entangling? She was entangled with Chris Kelly from Motherfin Chris Cross. Chris Cross was in the room, and Chris was like, Jada Pinkett is at the door, but don't leave. Take this weed chill. We were like, damn, he gave us an ounce of weed. We gonna kick it right here. Then he came back in and said, yeah, that was Jada Pinkett. Do you realize that Daz also revealed Jada introduced Kelly to drugs? The same things that he got hooked on and eventually killed him? The rapper then added of the incident. I'm like, damn, that's Jada Pinkett at a young age. 1993 around that way. She was entangling then. Shout out to Jada. Daz and Kelly's mom aside, his best friend Lisa Pope also alluded to the fact that Jada's company misled the young rapper. Lisa admitted that Kelly's tendency to surround himself with the wrong crowd meant that he got involved with some risky behavior that may have ultimately led to his death. Even Kelly's grandmother, whom he spoke with at least every day, had a feeling that the rapper was going down a dangerous path. In my conversation with his grandmother, she said that his mother said that she knew that Chris would die young, Lisa shared. Chris was determined to have a certain group of people around him, and they probably weren't the best friends. Even though they were good people, I guess fundamentally, they may not have been the best crowd. And I think she was concerned for a while that something may happen to Chris. She just had no idea it would be now. This group of people they are referring to here is none other than Jada. The shocking revelation even caught the attention of netizens, with one tweeting, Well, Chili and Jada Pinkett had sex with Chris Kelly of Chris Cross when he was 14, 15. This has been happening for both genders, unfortunately. Echoing Daz's allegations, rapper and record producer Dupree reportedly confirmed that Jada's drug-selling spree ruined the lives of many upcoming artists back in the 1990s. In past interviews, the actress openly admitted that she was a drug dealer in her school days. Jada was dealing when she met rapper Tupac Shakur at the Baltimore School for the Arts long before she married Will Smith. The 51-year-old nutty professor star opened up about her turbulent past relationship with drugs after the release of Tupac biopic All Eyes on Me back in 2017. She told the radio show Sway's Universe at the time, It's kind of hard because I haven't really told the whole story. One of the things that's very interesting that I've never really said before is that when I first met Pac, when we first met, I was a drug dealer. Yes, but she said something bad happening around that time made her decide to go straight. It was also around this time that Jada was allegedly selling drugs to Kelly and also sleeping with him. Kelly's mother, Donna Kelly Pratt, and his uncle told police that her son had an extensive history of drug use and that he had taken speedballs, a potentially fatal cocktail of heroin and cocaine, the night before his death. 
According to Kelly's best friend, Lisa, the rapper's drug use had been a problem for quite some time, and it had become a part of his identity as the life of the party. She said that she witnessed Kelly abuse alcohol, marijuana, and cocaine, but was shocked by reports that her friend had used heroin before his death. I knew firsthand of him and some drug usage, she said, and I was one of the friends who was absolutely intolerant of that. And so Chris was always battling with me like, you're always bugging me. And I'm like, no, Chris, I'm not going to candy coat it and make nice of it. I'm going to protect you and be your friend. I'm going to be your friend if it kills me. She added that she had even tried to get Kelly to commit to VH1's celebrity rehab at one point, but the rapper refused to go on the reality show. However, he did confess to her in a heart-to-heart -heart that he wanted to have a regular life, something his 90s fame simply didn't afford him. Following Kelly's death, producer Jermaine Dupri was so heartbroken because Criss Cross was the first artist he signed and paved the way for his success. Dupri clearly has an eye for talent and how to best showcase it. While most people have likely heard some version of the story that he discovered young teens crisscross at the mall and turned them into rap stars with their hit debut single, Jump, the details of how all of it happened and what it took to get there are often left out. In conversation with the museum's artistic director, Scott Goldman, Dupree shared how much more in-depth the story really is and that the young boys weren't trying to be rappers when they first met so he really had to get to know them to shape them into the stars he knew they were. This personalized process became how he worked with all future so-so deaf artists and played a huge part in the labels and each artist's success. Criss Cross was so-so deaf's first artist and first success story, and they paved the way for Dupree's continued excellence. You gotta understand people out there, Criss Cross weren't rappers. They weren't kids walking around with demos. They weren't trying to be rappers. They weren't trying to be singers. When I met them, I said, what do y'all do? Dupree explains, we just cool. I was like, damn, get these guys a record fast, he explained. With news getting out that Jada was responsible for hooking Kelly with drugs and then sleeping with him, netizens were quick to call for her head. One fan tweeted, people being real quiet about them. Jada Pinkett and Chris Kelly underage allegations. Where's the outrage? with the last one writing, where is the surviving Jada Pinkett documentary investigating her alleged molestation of Criss Cross member Chris Kelly? He later overdosed and suffered addiction, just like August Alsina. Anyone sees a pattern here? And talking of August Alsina, well, Jada openly admitted to sleeping with the singer while she was still legally married to Will Smith. It was the entanglement heard around the world. On July 10th, 2021, Jada brought herself to the red table and revealed that she'd had a relationship with R&B singer August Alsina while separated from her husband, Will Smith. While Will and Jada promised to leave everything on the table, a lot was left unanswered after everything was said and done. How exactly did Jada meet August? Have she and Will been in an open relationship? What exactly is an entanglement? If you can remember, Alcina was Jaden's best friend. So that means Jada slept with her son's friend. Nutcase. And just a few days ago, Jaden revealed that his mother introduced the entire family to drugs. I mean, she hasn't left her old habits, not even for her family. The 24-year-old rapper spoke at the Psychedelic Science Conference in Denver, where he described reaping a therapeutic benefit from drugs, including psilocybin and MDMA, AKA magic mushrooms and ecstasy. I think it was my mom actually. That was really the first one to make that step for the family, Jaden said. It was just her for a really, really long time and then eventually it just trickled and evolved and everybody found it in their own ways. Again, a clear proof that Jada stops at nothing until she takes down everyone, including her own family. Do you think she should be subjected to the same treatment R. Kelly got after it was discovered he slept with underage girls? Let us know in the comment section below. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.